Good morning, dear children. How are you all? I hope you all are excellent. Here I am with again with a new chapter that is from Beehive. That is lesson number three, the little girl. The heading, the title only we understand that the little girl, small girl, teenage girl. That the story is complete about that written by the Catherine by Catherine Mansfield. Written by the writer of this lesson is Catherine Mansfield. Was born on 14 October 1988. She was prominent short story writer, born and brought up in New Zealand, and after few years. She has shifted from New Zealand to United Kingdom. At the age of 19, she, they, at the age of 19, they left. She left the New Zealand and settled down in UK. In UK. And she became a friend. When she went in UK, she became a friend of modern writers. She published only one story and one poem during her first 15 months there in London. After that, Mansfield suffered, suffered. The Catherine Mansfield suffered a fatal lungs hemorrhage. You know, she has affected with lungs, you know, lungs hemorrhage in January 1922 and she died on 19 January 1923. This is the short information about the writer that is uh, by uh, Catherine Mansfield. Now we we'll come to the main summary, summary of this little girl. Dear children, have you, you know, ever your father and mother bet you? Yes ma, yes. All the parents, they score their children, they score sometimes, uh, nowadays we cannot be, but when I was very small, you know, my father was very strict, very strict. When even my father, suppose, is sitting in the drawing hall, we, all the three siblings, I have to serve myself, elder sister and younger brother with three siblings, we never used to go in front of our father. He is very, you know, still so far he is a strict personality. Now also we fear, but now as we got married, so we are respecting our uh, parent, our specially father. Here also the character is the main character. She is a Kezia. Here the characters, the main character is a Kezia. That little girl's name is a Kezia. And the other, the second character, that is also main character, that Kezia's father. What about Kezia? Kezia is the daughter who is very afraid of her father. Very afraid of her father. And what about father? Father is a very famous businessman. And he is very strict as well. He is very strict as well. So, in this lesson, complete presentation, he will be afraid of his father and she actually always avoid to go to uh, in front of her go, go, go before her father and whenever she you know go to her father she used to stammering stammering you know like this way this is stammering because of one type of fear she has about her father as his, her father was very strict and but if she goes to the other personality, other in front of other people, she was very normal like how we talk. But only in front of father, when, whenever she used to go, she used to stand out because that fear, that afraid, she has that you know, uh, fear about her father. And uh, um, when that, the Kenya nurses, then what happens on every day, for, Whenever his father used to go to office, she used to sleep in her bed. So he used to come in her bed and carry 
casually gives her keys and then he goes. And as she, he used to give the keys and as she go, he goes away, then she understands because that noise of that vehicle is fed, becomes fainter and fainter. Means she understood that now my father has gone. Then she used to be very free. And she always nurses her father. Whenever her father used to come from the office, she used to go, she used to help her, help him to remove his boots, the chapels and all. And he, she used to be tea and all. Her mother used to tell her. Her mother always tell her, if you will serve, if you will help daddy, if you will do the father's work, you will become a very good child. So in this way, the Kezia nurses all her father. What happens, you know, then all of a sudden, crisis come in the family. Crisis, you know, wonder much here Because what happened, his father uh, has to be one um, important speech somewhere and he had written that speech and kept in his room and that time, what happened when he was searching everywhere his speech, he did not get it. Then he called all the people, those who are staying in the house, then they called, then mother came before him and said, what happened? Then last, the mother went to Kezia's room and asked, have you seen father's any uh, papers? She said, yes, I saw. I took that pages and I kept them all the pages in my uh, gift with the gift which she has made for her father's birthday. You know, for her father, his birthday was approaching. So he made she made that. That time her mother dragged her from the room to downside and father scolded her like anything. There also, father when father asked her, have you taken my papers? No, 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 no. to stammer in front of her. Then what, this is the short summary, then what happens uh, when she saw her neighborhood, the McDonald's family used to stay near, uh, beside her house. That's her neighbor. And she saw that, her, that one man, the father with three siblings, two, three children, he is playing with his uh, with his all three children. She, when she saw that, then she had a mind, you know, comes in her mind that all fathers are not like my father. See, very good. One is on the top. You, you can see here. When you see this, you know, in the pictures and all, you can come to know. See the here, in the page number 36, the McDonald's family. Then she thinks that we know all the fathers are not like my father. See here, they all are playing together. Father is enjoying with the children. Then she, they, she saw that and the mind has missed it. Comes in her mind, my father is different and the others, others is, the McDonald's family is different. Then what happens? The visit of a nightmare. What happened? All of a sudden, her mother uh, was sick and she was hospitalized. When she was hospitalized, she used to stay with the grandmother also in that family. The main characters of these two characters, but in that family, father, mother, grandmother, one cook is there, you know, the chef, that is a, her name is Alice. So when, what happened all of a sudden, when her mother, Kezia's mother was sick, she was hospitalized. And when she was hospitalized, the grandmother was there with her in the hospital. And they have told that Alice, the cook of their house, told that if you look after Kezia. But you know, when she sleeps at night, she the nightmares, the dangerous dreams comes always to her. And then the, that time mother was not there, grandmother was there in the hospital, mother was in the hospital. Then once when she saw a very night, dangerous nightmare, 
Mohan Mayana Sarna. That time she shouted like anything. Then her father was the next room in his bedroom. Then when he heard her noise, he came. When he came down here to her, then she, what happened to you, Kesia? Then she said, because she is afraid of her father. Then she said, no, I want to go to my um, granny. And let me go to that you know, granny. Then he said, don't worry. Then he took that small little girl in his, you know, arms and took her, carried her along with to his bedroom. And then he slept there. She slept there. And beside her, his, her father slept. And that time she realized that. Then she was very scared, you know. And that time she understood that my father is near me. She hugged her father tightly and slept very really nicely. Then she said that, yes, my father is not like that. My father loves me. See how he has taken care of me. And then she slept very nicely in his arms. Dear children, when your father, when your mother scolds you, are they not loving to you? Yes, they love you. Why they scold you then? To change you, to make you perfect. Sometimes they beat you, sometimes they scold you. The same thing, his father was strict, so he used to scold sometimes whenever she, he never scold her whenever she has not done any mistake. But whenever she has done the mistake, her father used to scold. So this is the, you know, all the parents, they score there, sometimes they love, sometimes they score. So the same story about the written by the Catherine Mansfield than the little girl. Dear children, today, I think so you might have understand the summary which I have told you. Now, you open your textbook, read very carefully all the um, lesson and whichever new words for you, underline dear children, with pencil and there only take out your dictionary and write the meaning. So tomorrow we will explain the very detailed paragraph wise this lesson. Thank you and have a nice day. Complete your work.